Hi, I'm Jasmine. I'm a multidisciplinary artist and I'm based out of Toronto. So as a multidisciplinary artist, one of the things I do is a lot of body art. So to create my body art, um, and I create mostly temporary, temporary pieces of body art, I use Inkbox and I use Henna as well. That gives me a familiarity with both products. They have some similarities, but they definitely have some differences as well. Inkbox is based on the active ingredients in a fruit called Jennifa Americana, whereas henna is derived from a plant. Uh, both the gel of Inkbox and the paste of henna are both natural, so they work in a similar manner in that they create temporary pieces of body art. Henna comes from a background that's very celebration-centric, um, and it also has quite a few traditional uses, so it's definitely inspired by South, um, uh, South Asian and African cultures. Whereas Inkbox is a little bit different in that it's used for more tattoo-esque uh, temporary pieces of art. So for example, anything that has to do with self-expression, um, things like that, whereas henna you'll find more so at, let's say, weddings, celebrations like Diwali. Inkbox is also great to take tattoos on a test drive. So if you wanted something done permanently, for example, I myself have two permanent tattoos and I still do Inkbox all the time. So the applications of both Inkbox and Henna are a little bit different. Inkbox itself comes in a bottle and it comes in more of a gel form, so it's a little bit thicker. Um, henna itself comes in a little bit of a thinner form and it's typically rolled in cones. Both Inkbox and Henna you can control the intricacy with. So for example with Henna you can always cut the hole at the front of the cone to make thinner or thicker lines. Whereas Inkbox, the bottle comes with the variations of tip sizes. So with the various tip sizes, you can make thin and thick lines. Henna takes a little bit longer, so henna will take, um, especially when I do, let's say, bridal hennas, um, I always ask my brides to keep it on for a minimum of six hours. That's the time it takes to develop a really strong and potent color, whereas Inkbox takes a little bit less of a time. Um, and of course, there is a difference in color too, right? So with henna, you're expecting that deep orange meets brown aesthetic. With Inkbox, you're expecting that um, dark blue black color and it also does depend on where it is on your body as well as um, your skin tone and likewise with henna. And uh, in regards to the color development, they're both similar in that both colors will actually begin to develop 24 to 48 hours after the fact. So that means you'll gradually see the color increase. So that's another similarity between henna and inkbox. It really does depend on where it is on your body as well as your skin as well. Uh, both work with the process of rejuvenation of your skin. So that's why, let's say if I wanted to get off a certain piece of body art, whether it's henna or inkbox a little quickly, I could do that by exfoliating a little bit harder than I usually do. So that's gonna take off the top layer of the skin where it's penetrated. But with inkbox, it lasts eight to 18 days, again, depending on those factors. And similar to that, um, henna as well, typically lasts about one to two weeks. Well, I definitely take advantage of the fact that Inkbox does have that more tattoo-esque aesthetic. So with the blue-black color, um, I love doing pieces that I normally wouldn't be able to achieve with henna. So for example, something like this, my chest piece, I did it myself and um, I did it here because I knew like the potency of the color would be really nice, so it would look like a real tattoo. I also do different, uh, like I'll do skulls, snakes, I, I guess like a little bit of a darker theme actually with Inkbox, personally speaking. <laughs> Inkbox is definitely not black henna, so black henna is a little bit different in that um, it is comprised essentially of chemicals and preservatives and because of that some people have had bad reactions to it in the past, so I highly recommend people steer clear of it and if they, again, like the reason people go for black henna is because they want that, like the blue-black look for their body art, um, I would reach for Inkbox in that case because it is a natural alternative. Black henna is definitely something I would recommend to steer clear of because people's reactions to it in the past, um, the way it can actually leave permanent scars on your body as well. I've heard of a number of people who have had bad experiences with it, so it's, it's just not worth it. So I take bookings um, either on site or at home. So if somebody just wanted a personal appointment, let's say if I do a lot of sleeves and half sleeves at home for Inkbox, 
So if somebody wanted to come in for, let's say, a sleeve tattoo, a back tattoo, something, like a lot of people, like I said, come in because they want to take their art, uh, their next tattoo on a test drive, or they do it because, you know, they're going on vacation or day-to-day -day stuff, but they can come over at, or I can visit them. And likewise with Hannah. So if somebody wanted a personal appointment, maybe they're celebrating Diwali or Eid, they can come to my house, or if they're having a wedding or a party, then I'll go to them.